a cooking bench, a bed, and a restroom too, all inside this large recreational vehicle, an RV. This campground in Shanghai suburban Jiading district is full of the vehicles that have caught people's fancy and been converted into tiny houses, especially since the COVID outbreak. Taking public transport increases the risks of getting the virus, so it's safer to travel with RV. We take two or three road trips every year. The increasing popularity of the recreational vehicles, to some extent, indicates people's interest in outdoor travel. But what if you want something greener that fits both your daily life in the city and traveling afield? Since it looks like a conventional SUV, you might hardly guess that this electric car is capable of pulling an RV with it on a road trip. Launched just this June, it's among the first batch of models that are qualified to pull trailers in China. With a C6 driving license, drivers can go camping and take their RV right along with them. In 2020, we started to notice that our car owners have been traveling much farther. More than 90 percent of our owners in Shanghai have taken one-way drives of more than 200 kilometers. We've got batteries with different capacities. We'll be allowing weekly rentals for the 150 kilowatt hour battery for people who want to go camping. When they're back in the city, they can change back to normal ones. And for those who want a little more, the NEV maker has just launched a portable charge and discharge device that can get power access from the car battery to help power electric appliances including projectors, loudspeakers and lighting equipment when camping. The new product has been so popular that the first batch has already sold out. This electric MPV model went on sale at the end of June and has proven popular with local families who need the flexibility of additional space. MPV buyers have gradually been shifting from just commercial business clients to family buyers. The proportion of family buyers for MIFA has jumped from around 20 percent at the beginning of the year to more than 60 percent now. Especially since the outbreak, more families tend to choose that model as they want to camp in nearby cities with children and seniors, often with a lot of luggage. Shanghai has been offering preferential policies for NEVs, and people can save a lot of costs by switching to them. Another popular new energy MPV model from the brand had already seen its sales during the first half of the year jump almost 140 percent from a year ago.